Hey everyone, Tannis here from the Creative Outpost, and I'm finally back in my craft room. It is New Year's Day, and I get some time to play. So this year, I'm trying to use up a lot of things in my craft room. I'm going to try and bring you guys a lot of ideas, etc. Well, here's two. Both of these were tags on gifts. So I am going to actually take them. I've already taken the string off of one. And I am going to cover them with scraps of paper, bits and pieces, and I'm going to make new tags. I'm going to use the scraps from my um, Graphic 45 12 Days of Christmas paper. And I am just going to create. So, get those going. And away we go. All right, let's get started. So this piece will actually work here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just trace around that quick with a pencil. Okay. Let me get up here. All right. And then I'm just going to cut that. Fairly easy so far. All right. So this is just a scrap from another project that I used. All right. So now when I put it on here and you'll see how I create, which is a big mess everywhere. All right. So that's going to go on there and I'm okay if it hangs over a little bit. It does. I may take a smidge off of there. Actually, I think I will. There we go. Okay. So that's how I start. Uh, what am I going to ink with? Forest moss, I think. Sort of been my favorite this season. Okay, now you're saying, wait a second, you got a hole there with a brad. I do. So what I'm going to do, lay that down. I'm going to mark it. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy leather punch that I stole from my husband. That really isn't a leather punch anymore. It's really a paper punch. And I'm just going to punch a hole in it. So now when I take it and I lay it over top there, look at that. I can even go up a size if I wanted and I might just to make sure that it's big enough. Get that little bit out. There we go. Got a little edge there. See, you just, there's no wrong way to do this, guys, so you just keep playing until it works. Okay, that'll work for me. Okay, I like that. I really like that. Now, you can see when I did that hole there that it doesn't quite 100% line up on the bottom or on the top. So, I am going to just punch that hole a little bit more down. And again, if you're that particular about how it matches up, then just use another scrap and decorate down there. Which I probably will do anyways. All right. So let's just get this glued on. Let's get this started. I am using my art glitter glue. I didn't do a huge amount of glue on here because I want to be able to manipulate it and play with it. Okay. All right. And I look at that and I go, you know, I could worry about the hole over there, but I'm not going to. Because by the time I'm done, I'm going to be adding all kinds of stuff on here. Okay, so I like that placement, a little more glue. It always helps, too, if you have your bone folder, which I've buried, to run over top of things to burnish them. I have two bone folders. Three, actually. Ah, there's my big one. That'll do. Okay, so, all right, I like that. I'm going to trim that off here because obviously when I trimmed before I didn't need to, which is fine because there's no wrong way to do things. I just create. I do love to use up my scraps. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, so that may go on the bottom. Now, I am just literally going to start rifling through the odds and ends of this paper that I have. 
from Christmas and just say, okay, what am I going to put on there? What am I going to cut out to go on there? Oh, see this? I had cut this out of another tag. So I am going to use that right now. And yes, guys, I use my caterpillar for everything. I love my caterpillar. Absolutely love it. Now, I don't know. I could turn the light on, but I didn't. I don't know if I'm going to utilize that green or not. So I'm just going to trim a bit of it off. Yeah, I don't like the green on there already. So, eyeball it. Perfect. All right. So now we have decked the holes. I kind of like that. Is it going to work here? Yeah, it might not. Might have to go on the. Might not have to go on an angle. And it needs to be trimmed a little bit. Again, why I love my caterpillar. All right. Okay. This is literally personal preference. You do what you want to do here. I'm using up scraps. I'm just playing and having some fun. I know a lot of people really measure when they do that sort of thing. They measure very accurately, as you can see. I don't do anything super measured. I just like, and I might, thinking, I might put this lighter one on this side that's easier to write on, or some lines, but I'll figure that out. All right, let's put that on there. What else we got hiding over here? Whoops, throwing scraps around. Okay, I kind of like this glad tidings. That might go on my other tag. And, you know, I bury everything so quickly. Oh, and there's my bow folder. Okay, so I'd already cut this out of things. I'd cut things out of this. But I may want that glad tidings. So, no reason why I can't just sort of cut around it. Use that on my other tag. What else do I have hiding here? Oh, I like this. Okay, so because this is a tag, and because I want to have fun with this, I'm not necessarily quite so upset about, not that I ever am super upset about straight. It's just not my thing. I literally like to just stick stuff down, get it done. So I'm going to stick this on here because I don't exactly know where I want this or how far I need this to go. Beauty thing about art glitter glue is it does dry clear. Found my bone folder. All right. Okay. I like this. Okay. What else do I got hiding here? So, of course, I have all these that came with this. Plus, I have stickers. Oh, that could be fun. What do I got to play with now? What kind of tag am I going to use? Okay. I don't know. I do not know what I'm going to use. But. Oh, Merry and Bright. Okay, I like that. I'm going to put that right there because I'm going to use that. Perhaps I could put it on a little straighter when it's a sticker. That always helps. I do like it on this green, so I am going to put it here. And I'm just going to do a quick trim. Quick trim. And a quick trim. Oh, wow. Okay. That's fun. And this is the thing. This is just literally, you just start using all kinds of stuff that you have to figure out. Couldn't find my pokey thing, so I used that. Oh, I like that better. Okay. Marion Bright. I put that there. 
or ooh 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 see 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 this is what I do that's gonna go there I actually might go off of here and just get stuck on there there we go I like that so much better I will tuck those around the little bits merry and bright on there put that tag on there let's give it a little bit of ink okay that can go on there see what happens this will get glued down when I put the piece of paper on the back and what am I going to use on the back I said I'd use something light that would be easy to write on if I have such a thing and scrap if not I'll have to find something all right let's see what we got here This would work on the back because you could write on it. So I'm literally just going to put that on the edge. Hopefully, I'm not off camera and you can see that. Okay, put that on the edge. Trace around this. Okay, cut this out of this piece. I got some pencil marks on there so there we go off they come get a little bit of ink have you noticed the chaos there's always chaos when I create who I am that's what I like okay so now we get this this little one can just get snipped because it's not long enough to Now, if I put that on there, now we can write on it. Okay. You're wondering how come I didn't punch a hole? Well, I'm going to use one of my pokey tools to just poke through there. Or I may use the leather punch. I typically use it for everything. So, here we go. I do like to burnish if you watch videos my videos other people's when we're building mini albums you will hear us say burnish 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 it really helps secure everything down and really gets so I have that hole there I have a couple options I have a pokey tool I can just use that that will pretty well give me the hole that I want I have a bigger tool hiding somewhere that I could then poke through there again if I can find it easily. Sometimes I find these things easily, sometimes I don't. Oh, there it is, I think. There we go, just push that in through. Okay, now if I put this on here, because I like that, and I'm going to feed this back through here. I think that I'll actually do this first. I'll put this on here. This could be a challenge because I'm sure it barely got through here the first time. So I'm going to use my pokey tool. Come on. Aha, where there's a will, there's a way. Now I'm going to feed it through here. Maybe. <laughs> I have no fingernails, so that doesn't really help, but that's okay. It's because I always use my hands for everything. Okay, so now you can see I'm going to utilize this again. The cord that came with it. I'm going to tighten this up. Oh, that is fun. Okay, what kind of sticker can I put on there? Do I have one that says 25 on it? Deck the Halls Christmas. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. I have this. Christmas. There we go. Now I have a tag for next year. All right. Now we have this one. Now what are we going to do for this one? Let's do this one completely different. Oh, I might have to use that color because I kind of like it. Oh, that's fun. Why couldn't I just use that scrap? It's like the perfect size. Okay, I'm going to use I think I can use this on both sides. I'm literally going to glue this down and then I'm going to trim it. So this, you know, guys, I know that this is for some people. They're like, oh, my goodness, what are you doing? But this is how I create. I just literally take stuff. And why not reuse things? It's fun. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm going to really burnish that on there. As you can see, I can slide it there a little bit. Perfect. That is the beauty about the art glitter glue. you got a few minutes to manipulate it a bit. Oh, I'm before... <laughs> Before I do that, let's poke the hole. Let's poke the hole. There we go. So we know where the hole is. Otherwise, we're a bit of a mess if I cover up both ends. My other tool that I had, which I dropped and buried somewhere. <laughs> if you can take one thing from me, don't do that. I do it all the time. Constantly bury what I need. Okay. So I could do this again, or I could flip this over. So why not flip it over? Let's do this side. Okay. So these were just like off gifts that I received. And I just got the brainwave today when I was sort of hanging a few things up that, hey, those are great tags. I'm going to use them to make new tags for Christmas next year. I know we just got through Christmas, but I love Christmas. And I am actually going to make a Christmas project. I'm going to make cards and Christmas projects all year this year. So it's not so daunting when December comes. Because to quote a very good friend of mine, December 25th comes every year at the same time. Not sure why it's always a surprise. I have so much to get done. Just made me laugh when she said it that day and I've been using it ever since. Okay, so now we've got our whole poke through there. You can just make sure it's nice and clean, which it is. All right, I can choose whichever side. I can write on either side, and now I'm just going to find some stuff to decorate it with. Well, actually, I think I might cut this out. I do like the fussy cut. Not sure why, but I do. So I'm going to. What do I want? I want this. And I am going to start to cut. This is why I like the fussy cut. I mean, some things I'm a little more precise than I am on these things, but this, this is a little image, and I want this image. I want the holly. So, or the, yeah, the holly, mistletoe holly. I don't necessarily want it all, so I'm just going to kind of cut around. There we go. And it always amazes me how when you cut something out, that's why I love Graphic 45. Graphic 45 is loaded with opportunities to cut things up, to pull bits and pieces out of something, to utilize for something else. It's it's always astonishing just how gorgeous and just what you can find. You know, sometimes you can take a piece of a tag and use that. And I'll do that probably here in a minute. And I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, there are some parts I'm just not keeping and some I'm just cutting around. Don't really want that flower right now. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, I want that there. And then I want this. And again, I'm going to stick this one right over the hole. 
but maybe make it straight. So, do I want it on that side? Or do I want it on that side? I think it stands out better on that side. So, this is the side I'm going to decorate. No, I'm not. don't like that at all. And that happens with me. I put it on, go, oh, I like that. And then I look at it and go, no, I don't. So, let's put this on here. Let's get something that we can utilize, that we like. Oh, what about if we layer some more? Here's some more. A little bit more to put in there. I like that idea. Now, there are people, there's designers out there that design for various paper companies and there are some um, women that I mean they can fussy cut like no tomorrow they create things that just boggles my mind they are loaded with layers and definition and and it's just fun it's fun to watch it happen it's fun to see what they do okay move that up there put that down there That's too big in my world. I might not even use that one. I might just use this one. We'll see. And then, sometimes what you do... So one of the things I did, I was just making some cards. And so there's these tags that are in this collection. And I've cut pieces out of the tags. And actually, I like him right there. I'm going to use him. Now, 10 to 1, I'll use the other things there. So I just saw him, and he's going to work on this tag for me, and this is going to be another tag done. So don't, you know, take the opportunity. Look at things that maybe would normally get thrown out and find a new purpose for them. I mean, that's what we are. We're creators. We all create. We all have a great time doing it. There's no right way, no wrong way to do it. So just let your imagination run. I like to tell people to create like crazy and cut with wild abandon because Lord knows it is fun. All right now this is where some people go oh, okay she's got it all cut out but I don't because I want um, I'm just going to have to lift this up, otherwise I tend to cut through my mat. I just want to cut that space out right here, just so you can see the... So I'm literally just going to take my X-Acto blade. And this is a self-healing mat that I use. I have a few of them. This is one I obviously bought when I was buying my one for quilting, but I don't use it for quilting. I strictly use it for that. There you go. That just changes the dimension of it. So now I'm going to put him on there. Oh, yes. See, I like him way better already. I'm going to tuck a little piece of... Maybe I'm not. Maybe I just I just like him. Ink him up. Because I don't like white edges. Never did. Ink him up and... Oh, what do I have hiding over here? Oh, sure. We'll just put a couple of little... There we go. Why not? Stick him on there. And, bingo, we have another tag for Christmas. Maybe I'll just stick that right there. Yeah, I don't like it. So, he's just going to go there. There we go. Tag for Christmas. That's how fast it is, guys. I have two tags. Hope you enjoyed it. This little impromptu video. Don't ever be afraid to try something out of the ordinary. It's what I do. <laughs> if you follow me at all, you'll know that. So there you go. There's our two tags that we used out of tags that came off Christmas presents. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Remember, create like crazy and cut with wild abandon. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.